So here I have my cargo link over here. I have no helium, helium. So I'm gonna build a storage over here, all right? Like here, boom, all right? I'm gonna try something one second, guys. There it is. So now I need the helium. That's what you want to do. That's why you. I suggest that you do a cargo, uh, an outpost in the same system, because see that the issue with inter-system is that you need the helium. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna put helium over here. There we go. It doesn't matter. At least you have as long as you have five, right? Now you're gonna link it. Right. So right click. Make sure you link it to the tank at the back. Now you see it says 55 out of 5, that means it is fueled, which is fine. The other thing you need to put, uh, and I forgot to take the platinum, I need 200 platinum over here. Make sure you have 200, right? There we go. Press E, go to 200. There we go, done deal. When you're done, you're going to come over here. Now there's a bug. There's a bug with this. Um, I'll show you what it is. So now you're going to press... Um, Sidonia, this is the one over here, right, for the quest. Link it, there you go. So now, see now, the ship's gonna come. Now, now that a lot of people are saying it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I need to explain to you something. Uh, you need to consider the time it takes to get there. It's not immediate. Usually it should be immediate. So this, as soon as you take, as soon as you take, the resources, I should, it should be updated, but it doesn't. And I think the reason why is because you have to wait for it to arrive to Sidonia. But there's a way to bypass that. I'm going to show you how to do it. So here, see he's going to take the 200 platinum, right? Just going to have to wait. It's take around 20 seconds. There you go. So he took it. Now it should update, so as soon as you leave the atmosphere, it should be updated, but it doesn't work like that because it takes time for it for the ship to arrive to Mars. Don't forget, there's a travel distance. I know it's kind of strange, but that's the way it is. But usually, in the name of common sense, I think, since the job is done, I think this quest should update right away. It should get, it should say, quest updated. Like, seriously, like, I don't know why we have to wait. Like, there's no reason why we should wait. I mean, the ship is gone, it's gone, right? But that's the way Bethesda made the game, so now it's not gonna work. Let's just wait till it disappears, just to confirm. There you go. See, it disappeared, nothing works. It doesn't work, right? Um, what you're gonna do, don't touch the helium, don't touch anything. Go back over here. As you can see, it's on its way. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go to Mars. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Mars which is here, right? And I'm gonna land on Mars. Don't land, just land wherever, like land here if you want to, doesn't matter, just land on Mars. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Last time it was working, so I just wanna show you if it works. It's kind of a, I think it's a kind of a glitch. So, see, I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, it's not working. All right, it's fine. So now I'm gonna go to uh, Sidonia. Where is Sidonia? Why is it so hard to find Sidonia? There it is. Let's go to Sidonia. I'm gonna show you something as well. There is some sort of a glitch. I don't know what it is, but it's a glitch. So, so see, if you see the blue dots, it means so I'm, I'm still on the quest right now. You see. I think, like I said, it depends. What it, what happened is that it's on its way. And that's what I'm thinking. Every time you switch, every time you travel from one place to another, uh, you know, like, let's say I travel from this system to this system, or this system to this system, or this system to this system, uh, the ship is on its way. The ship is on its way slowly, right? So that's why when you travel from one place to another, in real time, the ship is on its way. So that's why you need to travel different places. This is my assumption. And I'm gonna show you something over here. The car link is not currently active. So here there is a bug. It says, it says it's not active. Um, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go back to, to my base over here. Last time it was working. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back over here, right here. 
There we go. There we go. Because what I'm thinking is that you need time. And there's a chance that it works. And where's my... There we go, see it works. I guess feeling my drift. So the, it, it's not, I don't know if it's a bug, but my assumption, my assumption, this is what I think, is because when you do this quest, when you do a supply run, um, you know, every time you jump from one system to another, to another, to another, the ship is on its way to destination. So that's why, that's why it's not immediate, because I guess in the name of common sense, Bethesda wanted to make sure that it takes time to get there that it's not immediate but me i think that the second that we the second that you know it takes the cargo we should have an update like that says that it's complete because i don't know why we need to wait for the cargo to come all the way here you know to have an update uh that's kind of strange because i mean what it's done is done but that's the way it is guys so just jump from one one you know one system to another and then go back to your other system and then one time i landed on mars one time what I did is I landed on Mars, like here, I just landed somewhere and it worked. All I did was waiting, so maybe it has nothing to do with Mars, maybe it has to do with the fact that you just have to wait and you just have to travel from one place to another, you know what I mean? So anyway guys, this is how I do it and the same thing for any other supply run. I hope that this helped you. If it does, please like and sub. Thanks for watching. Cheers.